strategy and politics are in play at mahjong tables all over Australia this month. With an election just days away, the vote of Chinese Australians is in focus like never before. Leaders have launched campaigns on WeChat and the first ever debate in Mandarin was held last month. At this inner Melbourne seat, one in five households speaks either Mandarin or Cantonese. The vote promises to make history by electing the first ever Chinese Australian female MP to the lower house. We're very good in multicultural community with people coming from all different uh, countries. And most of people will still, uh, you know, they are proud of Australian, but they still uh, pay the special interest to uh, the original country they, they, they come from or, or their parents come from. Come, come from. About 1.2 million people of Chinese ancestry live in Australia, making up about 5.6% of the population. They have a rich and diverse heritage. Some arrived as students from China in the 1980s. Others came later from places like Hong Kong, Malaysia and Taiwan. Recent decades have seen an influx of middle class migrants. This election will also see a generation born in Australia registering their vote. Their views span the political spectrum. Uh, we'd like to have um, good systems, say in health, education, and uh, the transport system, the roads, uh, uh, of course, about a tax as well. But a common priority is the relationship between Canberra and Beijing. Diplomatic ties between the two nations have been rocky recently, amid accusations of political interference. One commentator says many fear the rhetoric is reflecting badly on the community. They feel that uh, the wider Australian community might be losing confidence and trust in us, in, in us um, and also of our intentions um, if we are wanting to get involved in things like politics, uh, charity, philanthropy for example, uh, public service. Whatever the outcome on Saturday, Chinese Australians ought to see a parliamentary representation that better reflects the country's changing demographics. They will also be keeping a close eye on how the next government manages its relations with Beijing.